I got to know about K-pop from a friend who talked a lot about BTS. I got interested and decided to look them up, and ever since then, I've been obsessed. My K-pop journey came to start when my older sister was scrolling through YouTube and came across Ringing Dong by Shiny. After listening to the song, I became a big fan of K-pop. My favorite K-drama is When the Camellia Blooms. My favorite K-drama is High School Love On. Since I had already taken an interest to the culture, I decided to take a step up and attempt to try and learn the language. So, I signed up to learn Korean in my sophomore year. After knowing that my school offered Korean classes, I signed up for it as fast as I could. The first thing we learned in Korean 1 was how to speak, read, and write vowels and consonants. After, we learned words that began with the consonants of the Korean alphabet. We learned the days of the week. We also learned about Korean words with the topic of sports, clubs, personalities, and free time activities in Korea. For our last project, we did our journey to lay work the rooms in Korean. In Korean too, so far we have learned about the different Korean number systems, the seasons and different weather in each season, the basics of fashion, the basic colors, and we are currently learning about food and nutrients. In Korean too, we learned more about the number system, including the difference between native Korean numbers and Sino-Korean numbers. Here we have four seasons and four weather expressions translated from English to Korean. Here are some basic fashion items that we've learned about this year. Here are a few colors that we've learned. We've also learned about the five nutrient groups, which include Carbohydrates, tons of hormones, proteins, ambic cheese, minerals, mukiti, vitamins, vitamin, and fats, jibang. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video. Bye bye.